spread the fire. Welcome back to SMWX. I'm here with Minister Lindiwe Sisulu, and it's a great honor to be here with uh, a surrogate mother. Yes, it is. It is actually. Mama, thanks so much for giving us a minute of my your time. Pleasure. Um, what was your thought on um, today's sauna? Okay, today's sauna, I thought that the first hour could have been handled differently uh, because um, for people watching at home, not understanding the etiquette and the environment around Parliament, it must have been very confusing. Uh, but we, 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 we kind of live with this. It, you know, it's a kind of um, rapporteur that we are, uh, you know, what, conversant with. But I worried very much about our people at home. The second half of it was the president giving his speech, a very detailed speech on a, almost like a report card of what has been done, what was promised and how far we are, are about that matter. And I thought it was very well covered. He, you know, uh, it was a uh, report back that was very well covered in the time that he was given and with a bit of humor here and there. Uh, yeah, we won't ask about the cannabis. No, no, but actually, <laughs> actually, it has taken everybody by surprise that ah. there is so much interest in the cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> so what he said is uh, very representative of, of the kind of response that we are finding very interested in, in, in cannabis. But on the other hand, there are countries that have, when I was Minister of International Relations, mm. had indicated to me that they were very concerned about this because uh, they are battling with cocaine in their own countries mm. and it is destroying generations. How would we be able to contain this? And uh, fortunately, we haven't got to the point where we're growing it on scale. But I think that the sooner that we put legislation in place and put the necessary uh, parameters of what may or may not be done, it will give some comfort to countries that are suffering problems of, uh, you know, drug abuse and etc. And just finally, you are probably the most experienced minister, or at least one of them, one of, um, yes, yes, in certainly. our country, and you've yes. seen many different administrations. Yes. What distinguishes this administration from the other administrations you've seen? Um, you know, I think that we, we learn with uh, every uh, period we go through, and as we learn, we either kind of change what we have done wrong, and we either get better, or take several steps back depending on the particular kind of situation. Sometimes we misdiagnose something and take several steps back and realize a little later on that perhaps we should not have taken that turn. Sometimes we diagnose the problem correctly and move on. But um, we are at the point where it is. it might be necessary for us to put more emphasis on teaching our people what it is that we have given them in the 25 years because the mood uh, on, on the ground is but I don't have this and I don't have this uh, you know it, it's important for people to understand where we come from what we've been able to achieve and what each individual person has a responsibility to do that we should not turn government into a pizza delivery van Everybody has a responsibility and it is only when they give up that responsibility that they themselves will be very proud of the output that they have, uh, you know, that they get out of it. And therefore I think that the sooner we start in our education system to create a, a, an awareness of the responsibility of each individual to achieve what it is that we need to achieve, it will be much better for all of us. We really appreciate your time. All the My best. Pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for watching the content. Like, share and subscribe on all platforms. smwx.co.za to join the WhatsApp channel. And let's build a new conversation for a new generation. Are you?